In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install NVE and Reshade for 5M properly. First thing you need to do is acquire NVE from the Raise Patreon. You need to get the gold membership or higher. You can also go to the Raise Discord and get the NVE supporter subscription. Once you've done that, you can go to the beta downloads channel and download the latest version of the 5M package. Once you've downloaded the 5M package, open it up. And now you need to find your 5M application data. You do this by typing in 5M, open file location, open file location again, and find the little snail with the 5M application data. Now that you have both these open, you want to go to your mods folder in 5M, go to the main package in the zip, go to mods as well, and drag all these files into this folder. Now we go back in the 5M application data, go to plugins, Go back in the zip by clicking the two dots. Go into plugins, drag these two files in, go back again, back again. Go to the reshade shaders and drag these files in. Next, we can go back in the 5M application data, back into the mods folder. And we can go back into the zip, go to optional add ons. These are optional. You do not need to use these. This is purely personal preference. Um, these all go into the mods folder except for the high quality reflections. This gets put into the plugins folder. All right, now that you have NVE installed, you need to open your 5M. Once you have 5M open, you need to hit your F8 key and you'll see this string of text here. We need to copy this into our citizens effects file exactly as it is shown here, including this ID right here that is unique to you. I will have this pasted in the description below so you can just copy it right into there and just insert your own code. We'll take this code here, go back into your 5M application data, open the citizen effects file, and we'll input the string of text here. You'll put your code exactly right here. This is case sensitive. This message needs to be put in here exactly as it is shown here. I'll save the file, close, and we'll F8 quit. Relaunch 5M again. And now you'll see the reshade menu pop up at the top here. To open reshade, you want to hit insert on your keyboard, and this will bring up the reshade menu. I recommend having SMAA turned on, Bloom turned on, and personally, Screen Rain Drops turned off. If the reshade menu doesn't pop up when you hit insert, but you do see the message at the top, make sure to hit your numlock key and try hitting insert again. Once reshade is working, you're gonna wanna go into the settings in the top right, go to game, and make sure fix UI lag is turned on. You're also gonna wanna go into the story mode. You're gonna wanna pause your game, Go to settings, go to graphics, make sure DirectX 11 is on 11. Your shader quality is set to very high. Particles quality is set to very high. And post effects is set to very high or ultra. Those are mandatory settings. It's also recommended for your brightness level in your display settings to be set to halfway. You might need to adjust this higher or lower depending on your display, but NVE recommends halfway. If you notice motion blur and you dislike it, open up the reshade menu, go to NVE, go to graphics and set it to disabled. Here you can also disable the volumetric clouds. They look amazing, but they can hurt your FPS. So I just turn them off personally. Once you have all that set up, you should have NVE fully installed and your game should be looking very nice. Don't try that shit again. Don't fucking touch me. Now for some additional steps. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you're going to want to navigate to the NVIDIA control panel. Under Manage 3D Settings, go to Program Settings. You want to make sure you're looking at the version of 5M that your server is currently playing on. Mine's on 2802. And you're going to want to go to Anisotropic Filtering and set this to 16x and hit Apply. If you have an AMD GPU, you're going to want to do the same thing, just with the Adrenaline software. Probably your last played game is 5M, so go to Adjust Game Graphics. Scroll down to Advanced and find the Anisotropic Filtering. 
enable it and make sure it's set to 16 times. If you also purchase the upscaler plugin from the Raise Discord, you're gonna wanna make sure before you install it that your graphics, you have your MSAA disabled and your game is set to full screen, not full screen exclusive. To install the upscaler, you're gonna wanna find that 5M application data again. Go in plugins. Open the upscaler zip. 5M version, open this folder, and you want to put all of these files into the plugins folder in the 5M application data. Replace the files. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you don't need to do anything from here. You can just load right in. If you have an AMD GPU, you need to go into the GTA 5 upscaler.ini file, and you need to set it to one. By default, it'll set the DLSS, and AMD GPUs don't support it. So you need to force FSR2. Hit save. Open 5M. Now, if you open your reshade menu, you'll see a GTA 5 upscaler option. If you have an NVIDIA card, you'll see you'll use the DLSS option. If you have AMD, you have to use FSR. And that's pretty much it. If you have any issues with NVE, please go into the Raise Discord under the Patreon support channel and ask your question there. Someone there would be more than happy to help you. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the mod.